Morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're uh, here along uh, along Lakeside Park in Nelson, B.C., and we're going to just take a few minutes and take a look at some of the flowers here on the uh, one of the stopping areas and the seats. And we've got some real scenery going on here. The colors of the flowers are really bright. We've got a reseeding area here that's overlooking the bridge. Beautiful area along the lake, and we're going to take a quick look at that. And then we're going to sit down and give thanks and talk to talk to anybody who's listening out there who wants to share some thoughts on the, on aging and what we do to keep ourselves occupied as a senior. This is a very pretty spot and we're overlooking the lake here. It's a boat out there and a shot of the mountain. The colors are really bright this time of the year. So we're going to walk back over to the seating area here and we're going to talk a little bit of about our life as a senior in retirement. This area here, there has a little bit of a, this has been a dedicated by the Canadian Italian Society. I think we'll have a look here. The Centennial Plaza is dedicated to the people of this city by the Nelson Italian Canadian Society, what a beautiful gift. So we're gonna walk back over here and uh, there's a couple of seating areas here. We're gonna sit down and talk about some more senior stuff and enjoy the day. Here we've got a look at the lake here. We're looking the lake here. You look out there and see. Beautiful scenery. So we're gonna sit down here and relax and talk about seniors issues and uh, give thanks for all the things that we can still do in life. This is one of the great things about being retired. We have an opportunity to enjoy all the scenery, go and look along the lake, talk to other people and enjoy all the things that are still available to us. And as seniors, we have to be thankful each day and remember there's always somebody that's worse off than we are. And we're not making fun of uh, the fact that somebody is, is, is unfortunate, but we have to once in a while compare the fact that we're able to still walk and talk and drive our car and enjoy mother nature. And we have a lot of friends that are in care homes and, uh, and in the hospitals who can't walk and they've got medical issues and they're nearer death than we are. So we have to be reminded each and every moment that we're so fortunate to be able to walk and talk and uh, drive our own car and to sit down and converse with people. So that's the thing that keeps life going is the fact that we can talk to other people and uh, see how they're doing. In a lot of cases, we've known them for 30 or 40 years and we see that they we're all aging and uh, some of them are really healthy yet. And we got some people up nearly 100 years old in our apartment that are still functioning. and. Uh, so we always have to be grateful for what we have left and uh, always realize that we cannot sit in our apartment and uh, mope and cry about the loss of our, you know, our ability to do this and our ability to do that because aging is a natural part of being a senior. But being active is a key. I talked to a man this morning that's going to be 95 years old and he walks all the time, he skis and swims and uh, and he's very active and his mind is healthy and his body is healthy and and uh, he, he attributes that to to being uh, grateful and uh, an active he works on the tramway there at full time and uh, also does repairs and uh, and helps to keep the, the community alive by having that tram operating so we have to take our hats off to people who do that on a volunteer basis Myself, I'm uh, walking three to five miles every day, and uh, I get up in the morning and make a bite of breakfast, and I have a walk down to Waits and have a cup of coffee, and then I walk down through the park to the mall, and then now I'm on my way back. And uh, here's an ideal spot to sit down and, and give thanks and, and, uh, and just show you what it's like here. Like we've got a opportunity to look around, and uh, I did I did do that earlier, but I'll maybe do a little bit more when when I shut it down. So um, I wanted to just uh, say that I spent 56 and a half years in marriage until my wife passed away because she had medical issues and uh, I have to be thankful for that time. <coughs> and we can't 
death is something that comes on we can't fix. But the one thing that the death takes away, it takes away all pain and suffering. And even though these people are gone from the earth forever, uh, they still, uh, we still have their videos and we have the pictures and uh, their soul is remembered in the memories. So we have all those memories of all the years we had together. And uh, we also have the ability to make new friends. And that's really the nice part about being a senior is to be able to make some new friends and uh, check experiences, we can share experiences and share what we learned in life and learn from each other. Sometimes we think we're doing okay and we have some thoughts and we, we talk to people about different things and all of a sudden they have a different slant and they know a better way of, of thinking or a better way of doing something. So in the fact that just a simple discussion, we've learned something. So if we learn something anytime, if we can learn one thing a day, uh, that means to say we, uh, we have a purpose in life. And our purpose in life will be to get up, put our clothes on, get dressed, and have a bite to eat, and go walk and enjoy Mother Nature to the fullest. And uh, right now in Nelson, we have uh, the weather's cooling down. The days are getting shorter. So uh, we know that the fall season is coming, and Mother Nature is going to be up on us shortly. And we're going to have some beautiful fall colors very soon. So we have to be thankful each day for what we have in life. And... Uh, we're just going to take a couple pictures here, and we're going to say good afternoon to you. We'll take a couple pictures before we shut it off. We'll take a reverse shot here. And this is a shot looking down the lake this way. You can see the orange bridge in the background there. We'll turn around and see some of the beautiful flowers here. And the shot of the mountains in behind. We'll just walk down a little closer so you can see. We can look out across the bay here. So you can see what kind of a beauty we have here to look at. We've got all the flowers here over on the right hand side. And uh, over looking this way, we can look over the big orange bridge. And there's a few boats, boats that, are, that are tied up out here. So there's a bunch of people that are enjoying life to the fullest, enjoying the scenery. We're just going to take a look at some flowers on the other side here. Take a get away back from the sun here. We'll just back up so you can see these flowers here on the way back. Try and get the light working with us here. We'll take a look at some flowers that have been put in here. There's a nice bench here. Some purple flowers there. Red. Nice bench here. And there's some more colorful flowers here. We'll try and capture these ones too while we're here. You see the color we have here, eh? In the sunlight. Nice, beautiful. So we have to remember that if we sit in our apartment and we don't do anything, we're missing all this beauty. We're missing Mother Nature's beauty. So we're missing two things. We're missing Mother Nature's beauty and we're missing the opportunity to keep our muscles in good order. So it's really important as a senior to push ourselves and get out and enjoy everything we can because we got every day we don't even have a given anymore. We never know how many Mondays we have or how many Saturdays or Sundays. So it behooves us to enjoy every day to the fullest, meet new people and talk and share ideas and enjoy life. So have yourself a great afternoon.